In a world where quality business information is needed, we bring you On the Mic with Mike, the leading social enterprise business show in RVA. Join Mike King, the partnership guru, as he delivers game changers in Metro RVA. On the Mic with Mike showcases how business can help make society better. He discusses tech, culture, innovation, best business practices, and highlighting area nonprofits. Join Mike Monday through Friday because it is the place where the best and brightest come to chat. Fabulous day, everyone. This is Jawanda Smith, your fab. That is not my video or audio. On the mic with Mike. On the mic with Mike. On the mic with Mike. No, he's a businessman with a great radio show. And he supports the nonprofits. Watch his show and grow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mic with Mike. Mike King here. I had to play something, you know, different voices, because the guy next to me, Kevin Randizzi, is in the building. 804 Real Estate. People don't realize how far back we go. Yes. So, this is, we're talking 2016 or so? 2017, I think. 2017, yeah. doing TV when I was over at CW Richmond. I really, and there was something, people wondered whether it would work, and we did our own show, and then you got into the re the business, you built your own studio. Yeah, we, um, I remember that back in 2017, we did uh, our first show, I think in June of 2017, uh, called up uh, a couple of uh, uh, people that were in the industry, and we did this uh yeah, thirty minute Facebook Live show, and it was a show where people we would have a conversation for the first two segments, and then the third segment, the live audience could chime in and ask questions. And I remember it was a couple months after we were doing the shows, and I got a call from you, and you were like, "How would you like to bring that onto the uh, CW?" I was looking at what you guys did. I right, real quick before you get carried away. Yeah. Tell folks who you are and what you do. I'm Kevin Randizzi, principal broker, owner of 804 Real Estate. We're a residential real estate brokerage. We've been operating in the Central Virginia region since 2013. So this is year number 11 for us. And um, we operate in mostly residential. We do a tad bit of commercial uh, real estate. This past year, we've uh, we've been getting to uh, start pushing our real estate consulting services because we believe that that is going to be the uh, future of the business. So let me ask you: so uh, you've been in the business for eleven years with yes. of your or well, at your own brokerage? Yes. Because when I met you, you had the, you had your own place then, and that was where you threw the holiday parties. You did all the great things. Yes. There. Talk about this. There's, there's a bazillion real estate agents. Out yes. there, a bazillion, and I'm not exaggerating. Yes, but there's talk, a lot of them. <laughs> there's a lot, but talk about being able to stick and stay for that number of years, and what does it mean to you guys? Well, I think a lot of it comes down to providing top notch service to the client. Many of the clients that we have are repeat clients that have done business with us for many a years. Um, you, you know, you're talking five, six, seven, ten years or more. So we've had a lot of repeat clients. So they, they see our work, and they keep coming back to us. They keep coming back, but also your agents stick and stay. Yes. What is it about the 804 culture that you have that has people staying around? Yeah, we're a small real estate brokerage. So we have uh, seven agents, and the agents have been here for many a years with us. And uh, it's like we're like family. So we look out for each other. We, we've got uh, we've got great personalities, and we all mesh well together. All right, how can we? Get I think they this? like me as the boss, though. They do. <laughs> Everybody likes Kevin. Plus, my wife says, "Man, Kevin Randizzi gives us some nice some nice gifts at, at his parties." That that is for sure. Okay, so uh, talk a little bit about the Richmond scene now, as opposed to ten years ago. Well, yeah, Richmond has grown tremendously. It, you know, mostly over the past few years, you, you've seen massive growth in various areas like in Manchester, Scott's Edition, Jackson Ward, The Fan, uh, a lot of 
commercial and residential development has happened in the city, and you, you know, you're you getting a lot of people that are coming in from Washington, D.C., Fredericksburg, that are moving down to Richmond because they're getting priced out of those markets, and they're finding the affordability in Richmond to be a, a lot better than it is in many of the other metro areas. So, so you, you, um, you've seen poverty. I was at a, uh, eighth district council meeting and the mayor was there speaking and the mayor had mentioned that, uh, poverty in the city of Richmond had decreased by 25%, uh, along with all, a lot of other positive metrics that are happening. Kevin Randisi here dropping nuggets of knowledge on us. Okay. So, uh, you're here talking about real estate, and when people think about real estate, they're thinking about buying houses, selling houses, yes. either residential or commercial. You're here talking about something totally different. Not totally different, no, but no. there's a shift, and why did the shift happen? Well, over the, uh, over the past few years, the, the industry has faced some challenges, uh, specifically lawsuits against the National Association of Realtors and some other large real estate brokerages out there. Uh, last year, there was a, a big trial that happened in Kansas City, Missouri, and the National Association of Realtors and some of the large real estate brokerages lost uh, the verdict, and it was a $1.8 billion oh. verdict involving um, buyer agent com uh, compensation. So with that and the uh, NAR settlement that happened as a result of that trial back in um, no, uh, March of this year, there's uh, there's been some changes to uh, the MLS, uh, the the rules and regulations that we operate under, and um, and uh, practices. And with all that being said, I think that there is going to be a change more towards a consulting model in the future versus the uh, traditional model that agents and brokers have worked at. So when you say a difference in consulting, I saw something the other day, a person said, I sold my house on my own, I sold my last two houses, man, it was easy. I don't even know why I paid a real estate agent. Now, the consulting model would uh, offer a solution. That's what consulting is, is basically you're offering solutions to problems that people have in the, um, in the real estate world. So mm -hmm. somebody that that may want to sell their house for sale by owner, uh, the consulting models that we have could solve that problem for them. Now, somebody did, you know, a bunch of people chimed in online and said, I did too. I don't know why I ever had an agent and that's just giving them my money. Mm -hmm. One person said, would you go to court without a lawyer? And it's like, yeah. when you look at it that yeah. way, it could, you know, it may work. But right. now there may be a model where... Not having the representation. Right. I think there's always going to be a need for uh, real estate professionals in the industry because it's, it's just like uh, anything else out there. You may be able to you know, take, for instance, doing uh, electrical work. You may be able to go out there and go wire an electrical socket, but are you really going to want to rip, rip down an entire wall and try to rewire an entire room? Or would you rather have an electrician that's been in the business for 10 years that knows how to do that and has dealt with that every single day. And I think that real estate would be the same way. But I think that it would be different uh, whether that happens one year, two years, or five years down the road. I think it'll be different um, on, on how uh, business is done. When you talk to, you've been in the game for a long time, when you talk to other people, do some of them just be like, well, I'm going to continue doing it this way, and if change happens, or do you get a, a number of them are being visionary to say, I don't know, I better look at this consulting side over here as well? I, I think what happened was the results of the uh, of this lawsuit is that these uh, plaintiffs were, were screaming for change. And uh, not only that, uh, I, I think that the uh, I think that the industry is is poised for change. You've got a lot of external factors as well. You've got artificial intelligence. You've got uh, um, you know virtual staging. You've got uh, a, a whole bunch of technology. What is virtual staging? Uh, What's that? A virtual staging is where you can take uh, photographs of like an empty room and you can stage in uh, different types of furniture so that people can see what a house may look like once uh, 
once it has furniture. So it gives, uh, gives gives the public an idea. Okay, so here Mike King covering DC here. So the idea of this is before you didn't want an empty room, show me an empty room. You want it right? Is that right when you're selling? Yeah, uh, uh, typically a house will sell better with furniture in it. Okay, if it's properly staged and um, so now properly cleaned. What happens to the stagers if I have an empty room? The people who are in that business. Well, if if you put it in virtual staging, it, it may look good for the photos, but when the person goes there and actually <laughs> takes a look at the house, and they see that an could be room, another story. So that could that could be a problem. It's like I can't imagine that they will be too affected by it because staging does sell. We we have seen that it does sell. Yeah, Kevin Randisi here. Hey, what are, what are some areas that are hot in the market right now? Oh, you're saying. Oh boy, person, if you're looking for properties, what what areas are hot? Uh, like just in Central Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, you you know you've got Richmond that's still red hot. You've got the West End that's uh, that's extremely red hot. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, yeah, their their houses out in Short Pump and uh, uh, you know those particular neighborhoods. They go on the market one weekend and they receive multiple offers and. Many a times those houses are selling for either uh, well above asking and and uh, crazy terms, but uh, you know you, you do have um, you know Chesterfield is still very strong. You you have um, all of Central Virginia is very healthy. What's the word that you're hearing about, say, the Tri Cities, uh, Petersburg, Hopewell, uh, Colonial Heights. I I think that you're seeing growth in Petersburg. You're you're seeing a lot of excitement, specifically involving a casino that's getting mm -hmm. ready to uh, to get on the ballot and be voted upon. If it if it passes, that could bring some uh, added excitement. There's a lot of excitement in Old Town. There's uh, a, a lot of nice shops that have been uh, been going in there. You. Um, Hopewell has some challenges, but uh, they're they're trying. They're they're really trying to uh, uh, push the city of Hopewell. I know there's a lot of work that's going on with the downtown Hopewell partnership, and the uh, and the uh, city of Hopewell to try to bring business into the downtown sector. Uh, uh, there's a wonderful lady there, Heather Line, that's done a fantastic job. Heather was just in there a couple of weeks ago. Yes, yes. That they are doing some amazing things down in, in Hopewell. Yeah, she's done a fantastic job of trying to, uh, you know, they have a farmer's market now. Uh, they just had their uh, Rivers and Roads Festival. I think that was the first festival in Hopewell in 10 years. Gotcha. Kevin yeah. Ramdesi here offering nuggets of knowledge. How can people find you one last time? Oh, absolutely. You can go to our website at www.804realestate.com. You can visit us if uh, if you do have a real estate problem that you want us to take a look at. Uh, visit us on uh, on our consulting site, too, at www.804realestate.com slash consulting. We do offer free 15-minute initial online consultations. So you can fill out the information, book a consultation with us, and then talk to us about your problem. Kevin Mandisi, he's been doing that for a long time. Congratulations <laughs> on that. He's going to come back. He didn't know he was coming back again because we want to get some more information, updates on the market, to figure out what's happening out here and how to run a successful brokerage out there, keeping your people happy as well as selling homes. On the mic, Mike, Kevin Mandisi, we got to go now, folks. Thanks. Take care. Thanks.